Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here in Birmingham, ready for the Hennessy Sports Show on Saturday night with Mr. Tyler Denny, who fights for the vacant English middleweight title. Tyler, I just said to you, I haven't seen you since June, which shocked me because that means the year is flying. You got the win against Derek Asazi. Um, five months down the line, you're fighting for the English title. This could be a seriously good 2021 for you. Yeah, that's the plan. That was the plan at the beginning of the year. We had to wait till June, obviously, you had all the COVID and whatever. And then June, and I'm just saying to you then, like, I deserve an opportunity after that last fight um, beating Derek. Uh, so, was it, man? I'm going to take it with both hands. Just tell here he goes. We're raw, we're uncut, so... Is it Errol? Tell him to fuck off. Um, so, yeah, so when you beat Derek, obviously, as an away fighter on someone else's show, sometimes you think, right, an opportunity will come up, but they don't always come up. Sometimes you can still be left in the lurch. Sort of after that fight between then and now, sort of what negotiations have there been and what talks have there been about you having this fight? Well, it went a bit quiet, really, and then uh, they put Ian in the board did uh, to fight River, and then... One reason or another, he's doing his own path, do you know what I mean? He's selling millions of tickets and whatever, doing whatever. So I can see why he didn't. Um, and then next thing you know, I was in the board thing and my name's there. And I'm like, I was buzzing there and I was like, yeah, that's the fight done for me. English title, that's no, no brainer. So you've been a challenger for the English title a few times before. So not that you weren't ready at that stage, but do you feel like this is the perfect time for Tyler Denny to, to go and get that strap? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely well more prepared now, uh, given the fight, even my last fight. Um, that was meant to be for some sort of European or something at the time, but it's funny how it works out because if I thought, if I had that European, w wasn't the proper European, but like a version of it, then I wouldn't be fighting for English title now either, would I? I'd be going down that route, so I'm buzzing, man. Yeah, obviously, you've done with the BCB boys like your fair share of stuff on the small hall shows now, and like you said, it's funny how boxing works out because when I saw you were fighting Derek, I was like, right, that's a good fight, and next thing you know, there's a lot of hype around Derek and you win, so I don't know, this time, let's say last year, could you even potentially think about the position you're in now? Um, I had to really <laughs> otherwise you'd pack it in wouldn't you if you've got no like vision of where you want to be like so um, but it's all paying off hard work's paying off and, like, it's, a, it's the gym that we're in the environment it's in Zach Parker um, beating up Morrison uh, last week and I think most people are getting to know Zach now and they're kind of new but we've known for years how good, how good he is you know what I mean and I think there's a few good boxers the local lads and we're just going out proving it to everyone now well, I always say there's a BCB boy at every single event you ever go to. There seems like there's hundreds of you and you're everywhere. And you are making, yeah, you are making noise at the moment. And um, there's going to be some noise on Saturday. I, I wasn't at the press conference yesterday, but I watched it. Um, I suppose because it's two Midlands boys fighting for the English title. Everyone expected there'll be a little bit in there. But I don't know, you said today you feel like it's kind of a bit rehearsed f from Riverside. Yeah, very much so. I don't know, if, I don't know the guy to say like what his nature is, but I don't know if someone's told him try and put it on me or something, but... I ain't that guy to be joined to do it too. So, and especially in giving me a mic, I can just talk all day long. I just, I just ripped him basically mid looking an idiot. Do you know what I mean? So, um, he's a lot quieter today, really. Obviously, he was just a way in, but he come with, I don't know what, what did he say to me? Um, but he said, you're finished or this is the I, end, which I, which I think he was insinuating. If you, if he beats you, then it's yeah, the end of your career, yeah? He's like, this is your last chance, like a robot or something. I was like, Shut up, man. I was like, he's gone home, he's been thinking about that all night. Do you know what I mean? What can I say to him? He's writing it down now, nah, it's no good. Come back with this. And I just thought, go away, man. Do you know what I mean? He's all rehearsed. I've like, got no time for that stuff, man. One thing that there wasn't today was any contact at the way. And after the sort of push at the press conference yesterday, and the thing where they made you go back to back, which I thought, like, why would you make him go back to Like, yeah, I sort of knew something was going to happen, but it, you sort of, was it he pushed you? Yesterday at the way, and, uh, sorry, yesterday at the press conference. So there was a little bit there. He started leaning back into me just to show his match. Just, what, what are you doing? What, why are you leaning back on me for? Just, just take the picture, man. I'm hungry. But, <laughs> but you know, he's got a bit of publicity and that's so how it's all, it's all good, really. Nothing, nothing too major, any. And all building towards the fight, of course, which obviously I, I can see from looking online, there's a lot of interest in. Um, in terms of River as a fighter, what do you make of his career so far? We know he's a big ticket seller and whatnot, and he's got a nice core supporting Coventry. But as a fighter in the ring, what have you made of his journey so far and what sort of attributes he's got? He's a good fighter. I don't take nothing away. I don't let, like yesterday, not make me think he's a good fighter. I don't know if that's what he wants, and we just go crazy in there and stuff. Um, and he's a ticket seller as well. But I don't think he's as big as what they say. I don't know what ticket he's I bet he's done a lot more than me, but I don't go around trying to say that. But I had a call last week saying if I want some of his tickets, do you know what I mean? And I thought, I thought he was this. He, he, I sent an interview saying he was the biggest ticket seller after Nathan Heaney, and like 
Nathan Heaney wouldn't be selling tickets, giving tickets away a week before a fight, do you know what I mean? So, you know, they can see why they're pushing it. The fight's in Coventry. No one else is from Coventry, do you know what I mean? So it's all for him. And they're going to be upset tomorrow when I beat him up. And I've beat up the ticket seller. How do you beat up the ticket seller? I was going to mash him up in there and beat him up, outman him, punch, just punch holes in him until either like, the ref's going to have to stop it or he's going to go down and not get up or it's going to batter him for 10 rounds. Well, so I'm going to leave it at that. There's your fight prediction, Tyler Denny, River Wilson, Bent. Going to be an absolute barnstormer. Tune in Channel 5, Tyler. Pleasure. That's all right, thank you.